Good people of YouTube, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. My name is Intec. Today we are back at it and we are going to be working with the paint tool for the first time ever. Uh, I know this video is a little bit late, but uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of games coming out and I'm trying to balance everything. Uh, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do in today's video is make a little cool, you know, fake world. Uh, by painting, and then also I'm going to go and paint my giant walker that I once made. And so let's get right into it. So if you guys haven't worked with the paint tool yet, it's actually really easy to work with. Uh, basically, you just bring, bring the tool out, you hit Q, you select a color, click and drag to you know paint a massive area or you can right click to delete the delete paint it's actually really really simple to do and so I'm using this like really dark green color right now but you can see there's like tons of colors that you can work with and uh, you, know, you can do that or you can click once or whatever and delete one little area or just whatever I don't know there's a bunch of different things you can do um, with it in and of itself but it's so simple to work with that uh, you know making things really really easily so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to you know start making like kind of a world and then i'll resume once i kind of like have a development or something like that and then we'll just kind of work through things and then i will eventually go paint that giant walker all right so i thought at first i was going to just kind of like make something and come back but it's going to take a long time so i thought i would just uh kind of paint a little bit on screen as well as like make like a house or something like that and then you guys can see just how easy it is to work with this. Now, there's one thing though that I was thinking about, and that is, in order, I think this is covering the entire block. So, in order to like paint an interior and exterior wall of a building, uh, you would need to essentially have two layers of wall. And so, if you're planning on painting your building or whatever, you need to keep that in mind uh, to to have interior and exterior wall double thick, so you can paint one. One side one color, one side another color. And so if you forget to do that, you are going to have like one color of a building or one color of a vehicle. And so it's important to keep that in mind. Uh, and I think it's going to be really cool to paint that walker because it has those stripes, the caution stripes. And so I think that will be uh, uh, an interest, interesting to see how that turns out. So let's go ahead and build a house and uh, then we'll paint it after we get it built. All right, so we got our house built. And so now we need to paint it. And uh, I think I'll just do this, just kind of give it, looks like a house, right? I painted the floor black already and the steps gray. Um, but I think I want to make this, what, uh, red's probably a cool color, blue. Blue is kind of weird for a house. My wife hates that. Uh, purple, we could just do like a red and see what that looks like. And we'll paint the roof a different color. Ooh, that looks sweet. So... I'll have to go back through and like make my interior and exterior. Oh, that's gonna paint that concrete there. I, I need to make my uh, interior wall so I can paint it a different color. But basically, I mean, you can see how easy it is to work with the paint tool. It's super simple to use and work with. It's not very difficult at all. I think the idea, like the the thing that you need to think about, is how to make. Um, like if you like, for example, they, they posted on Twitter when they were first promoing this paint tool. A world that looked like Minecraft, a very, very similar looking world to like what Minecraft would look like. And it has to, you know, you have to build it a specific way to get that look and then paint it a certain way to get that kind of look. And so th I think there's going to be a lot of things that you can do and you're going to see a lot of cool creations. It's definitely going to be really cool for thumbnails and stuff. Uh, but I mean, for painting the world, it's going to be a challenge. So what I thought I'd do is make an interior and then make a tree as well. And, um, try to make a tree like they made on their thing they had like a waterfall and all kinds of other things it looked really really cool um so let's uh go ahead and cut this window out and then make an interior wall okay so we got our wall made now i'm gonna go ahead and paint this uh we can do like a beige color that might look cool so that way when you look through the window you see you know this color it would be nice if once if you painted one side at a time like arc does that would be really nice but i would imagine that that would take a little bit more uh, time to paint than what they've done here. But this is a pretty simple, easy house. And what I think we could do is make a tree. And the way to do it would probably just to be all wood blocks. But you can use different blocks to have different looks. And so I'm going to try to make this tree, paint it, and then uh, I'll resume once I get that done. 
Okay, so here's the tree. I mean, it kind of looks like a tree. Uh, in, in their image, you can see that it's more blocky looking and it looks a lot better, but I tried to make mine look somewhat natural. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the more I look at it, it just doesn't look like a tree at all, really, uh, the more I look at it. But you can see how you would make a tree. You just need to have like varying blocks and then paint in different colors and then, uh, you know, obviously the height and stuff. And then when you paint an object, like a vehicle like this, it's painted black. You, oh, okay, that paints the whole thing. And then we paint each individual block. And then I would imagine that the thrusters are the orange. You get to paint the orange. Um, but you could do like, let's see, different colors. Oh, like white, white and uh, red might look really cool together. What's this do? Yeah, okay, so just the stripes, just like I thought. And so I would imagine the wheels are just yellow part of the wheels. What about, ooh, that's kind of nice. Green, let's try white. Yo, white is sick looking. White looks so good. Paint these red. And then, that's a brighter red. And then we'll paint uh, this white. Dude, that looks awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and we're gonna paint our walker and see what that looks like. You guys remember the walker, don't you? Look at this thing, it looks so freaking cool. This is my big mech walker. And I'm gonna paint this thing. And I first, I thought first we would check and see. Um, can I, I can probably paint it from the ground to be honest, but I wanna see what this looks like. Oh, that looks sweet, it's gonna be awesome. So I think if I paint it white, it's gonna be hard to look at. Um, red is too dark. What about a green? Green! Oh yeah, I freaking love green. Green looks so good. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna try to paint this thing, and I know there's a lot of jump cuts in this video, and I'm doing things, but, um, you know, I don't want to make a video where I'm just, like, painting, uh, because I don't think that would look very cool. So what I thought I would do is, like, kind of do these jump cuts, and, um, that's going to paint the whole thing and then kind of show you the finished product because that's what I think I'm I'm most interested in and what I think most people are going to be interested in because like I said I'm doing this video is out like the paint tool has been out for a while already and this video is late but I thought I would at least do this for my design so you guys could see one of my designs and when it's painted we can go also go back and paint the Batmobile or something like that eventually uh, but for now I think I'll just start with the walker. All right here we go the walker is painted but the white is really hard to look at so I think I'm going to go ahead and make some of this black we made the guns red the green looks really cool um the red doesn't really work too well with it but you know what whatever it's just for kind of demonstration purposes and the wheels the wheels don't really get painted they it's kind of like a muddy looking color they need to like make it so it's a solid color because currently you can still see a lot of the yellow and it doesn't look really good and so i don't know how long this video will be once i edit everything down but essentially um, this is me painting the walker. It looks really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Look at the uh, at the painting tool if you haven't seen it yet. If you have already seen it, then hopefully you guys are uh, doing really good. Tweet me some of your creations. If you painted some really cool stuff or painting your vehicles, tweet that to me. I want to see that and I'll retweet your stuff because I'm interested in seeing what people have made because I definitely think that people can make some amazing things uh, with uh, the paint tool and what is already in the game. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Twitch and